everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany. Today I've got a Primark haul for the month of March so if you are interested then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and we'll get right into this. So the first thing that I've got is these daisy print trousers. These are absolutely love because online I've been trying to find a pair but they've always got like coloured and spots in the daisies which I just wanted plain like black and white so this I got in a size large and it was £10 if you can see the print here and also I'm not sure if it picks it up on camera but they are ribbed so yeah it's not like just normal plain smooth cotton but yeah I do really like these and they are super stretchy the bottom of them has this not scallop ten but I can't remember how would you describe this sort of like hem where it's sort of you know maybe it's scalloped I don't know but it's sort of you know got the little wiggly part and yeah I'm excited to style these in summer I wouldn't say they flared they're more sort of straight leg but I still think they're really cute and yeah I'm looking forward to styling these the next thing that I've got is the 90p flip-flops which I cannot believe are still 90p if any year that they were going to go up I would have thought it would be this year since everything is so expensive at the moment but yeah these have stayed 90p unlike everything else in the world and yeah I got these in a pastel yellow lemony kind of colour and just plain black and yeah these are just for a bargain they're just absolutely a bargain 90p I get these like every spring summer when they bring them out and I've, it's better to get the plain colours golden colours or ones that have patterns on literally just rub away against your feet so I feel like the solid colours opposed to the patterned ones but yeah these I'm really excited for the next thing I got is from the homeware section was this pack of reusable straws I've always seen like silver metal straws but never gold ones so I thought this was quite exciting this was £2 and it's a pack of four with a cleaning brush there as well so yeah I'm excited to give these a try the next thing that I've got is a bikini set when I tell you I'm literally manifesting because I don't have any holiday or anything booked at the moment but I'm craving the sun so I've got a couple of bikinis this first one is this triangle sort of shaped one it does have padding in there as well which is removable so if you don't want that that's handy and it's sort of hooked at the back which feels quite secure and has adjustable um, shoulder straps which I quite like this was six pounds for the top and I got this in a size 12 and for the bottoms they are high-waisted I just want to show you the material as well of this print because it is really like nice and sort of like a I wouldn't say waffle sort of print oh sorry waffle texture but it is really nice texture and these were four pounds so ten pounds for a bikini set is absolute bargain I really love the color of this the next bikini set that I got was a solid plain black one this is just like a good standard bikini set to have um, this top this bandeau kind of top was four pounds I got it in a 10 just because it has no straps I do want it to be a bit more snug and secure it again does have padding in there which can be removed can it Oh yes it can be removed I couldn't see the hole for a sec yeah so it can be removed the padding only four pounds for this top and it does have that sort of plasticky not sticky but that rubbery sort of thing to help keep it secure in place which is handy and then again the bottoms are high waisted and these were five pounds also says this is made from recycled plastic so yeah this bikini set I think is really just a cute standard bikini set to have so five pounds for the bottom four pounds for the top to add on to my summer manifesting I got this bikini cover-up this was eight pounds I got it in a large a large is 14 to 16 so I did want it to be a bit oversized and um, yeah just sort of baggy this has um, rolled up sleeves which you can again roll down if you want to but the sleeves are sort of like three quarter length and the buttons you can see on there just normal shiny standard buttons but yeah I do really love this it is sort of like a long shirt um, so longer than a normal shirt sort of length but yeah this I think will just look so nice with either of those bikinis a beach hat a bag just on the beach just strolling down the beach in my flip-flops I could just really imagine this and if I was wearing this I'd probably unbutton it and just have it like just sort of a casual thing to keep you warm or just help you feel a bit more covered up I got this also in the black color 
I thought it would be nice to be able to mix and match, switch it out, or if my bikini colour is a bit bolder, have more of the subtle black one, which again has the rolled sleeves. And it is really like sheer and see-through. You can see me through it, which I like because I didn't want it to be too like thick. I look like an actual shirt, but it is really sheer and light. The buttons are the same colour on the black one as they are on the um, white one. So this sort of, not tortoise shell, but just a plain shiny button. Again, I got this in the large, so it's big enough um, to feel baggy and comfortable. And yeah, I just think this would look really cute in summer. So I'm manifesting and hoping that I get to actually use this this year. The next thing that I got is a lint roller because my kitten is shedding a lot. And I need to have like one left in the car, left out by the front door, left in my room because he's ginger and I wear black a lot of the time. So his fur is just getting everywhere at the moment. So this was £1.50 and it, I like that it comes with a lid on top of it as well. And then yeah, a spare one. So I will be shoving this <laughs> in my boyfriend's car. The next thing that I got is this black tracksuit bottom. This was six pounds. They do have cheaper tracksuits, but I wanted to have ones that had pockets in because I'm obsessed with counting my steps at the moment and it's easier to just shove my phone in my pocket to count them. So yeah, if you did want it without pockets, I think you can get like four pounds or five pounds ones. But yeah, this was six pounds. It has drawstrings on them and this like metal, um, what do you call it, an aglet part on the end. I've noticed in all the tracksuits I bought, like in my last haul, which I think was January, <laughs> the two tracksuits that I bought, this metal part has come off of both of them on the first wash, so I would not be surprised if this ends up happening with this one as well. But the bottom of them is cuffed, which I prefer, it just feels cosier. And yeah, this is literally just for like home sort of wear, if I'm running errands, because as usual, I'm still working from home, so tracksuits are my main, <laughs> main outfits these days. The next thing that I got, is this pajama dress it's sort of granny vibes but at the same time it's not granny chic shall we say i just really love like the this sort of what do you call this hem if it's not scalloped i really can't remember if you do remember please let me know but this little hem on the arms and on the bottom part i just really love it i think it's just really cute and the dainty like floral pattern and it's sort of like ruched in the middle there as well and by the chest parts so i just really think it was really really cute and i just thought i could imagine just like you know strolling around fluttering around in this in the house so yeah this was 10 pounds which the pajamas are slightly starting to increase in price because when i looked at it when i came home i was like oh i paid 10 pounds for that it does give like six to eight pounds sort of vibes but anyway i think it is really really cute the next thing i got is the cotton pads as usual these are only 90p and yeah these are just good quality i've been trying to find reusable ones to use but the back i got some from wilco and after about the second wash they've started to fall apart a bit so it's really annoying when i wipe my face and all bits of fluff i've got to pick off off of me so if you do know of any like good quality reusable ones please let me know for the meantime i have got these which i use like for my micellar water and um, my toner and stuff doing my skincare so yeah these are good bargain as usual the last piece of clothing that i've got was this skater dress which now that i've brought it home not sure if i'm really feeling i have a love-hate relationship with the color brown because wearing brown clothes from a distance just makes me look naked and i did think this color was sort of off brown enough that i could get away with it but now that i'm looking at it i'm not too sure i liked it because i do have a bag in this color that would match really well this was 10 pounds for this dress and i got it in a 14 because it did look like on the smaller side but yeah I'm not too sure if I'll be keeping this. I did like the pattern material. I did think it'd be a good like home wear dress as well. Most clothes that I buy now, I want them to be comfortable for me to wear at home as well because I do spend like 99.9% .9 of my time at home as I'm working from home, but yeah. This I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping because I'm not too sure about the color against my skin tone if it complements me well. The last thing that I've got is this makeup organizer. 
this gloss. I'll flip the camera around so you can see what it looks like. I was surprised to see this. It's one of those things by the till. And yeah, I didn't think Primark did like glass sort of homeware and things. I know they are expanding, expanding their homeware section a lot. But yeah, this I really liked. I was a bit disappointed when I opened it because the handle had snapped off. But it does look like it can just be super glued back on. But I really like the gold edges that it has. It just gives like a sort of more elevated feel. Especially like it's glass as well. So I feel like I will like this a bit more than my acrylic ones I currently have. But yeah. I do really like this and Primark have so many cool things in the homeware section at the moment. I have filmed a what's new in Primark video so if you are interested in that then um, subscribe to my channel so you can see that in the next few days. But yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much, bye!